Hi guys, it's me Mr. Hooch and in this video we're going to be going over some basics in Fusion 360. So this app right here. So you want to start off in this screen and then when you want to start making something you press create sketch. Before you make anything you always have to make a sketch and it'll come usually in between these two axes, the Y and the X. Now, you want to make a rectangle, let's say. So I'm in this video, I'll just show you how to make a rectangle. But on Fusion 360, you can make triangles, circles, and anything. So we'll make a rectangle. So you have this, and you press R on the keyboard. This is a shortcut key. And then you can just select the center, and you can choose how big you want it. This doesn't matter. You can always choose. And I just want it to be like this. So I'm going to go 90 up here and tap on this and 300 over there. So you can vary the size, but now you can't see it. And this is a problem. So in the handy toolbar at the bottom, you can press fit. Now it fits the thing to your screen. So now that you can see it, what do you want to do now? You can insert a line. So shortcut key, L for line, boom. Now, to find the very center point, there's, it comes up with a triangle on the cross where my cursor is. There's the center point of my shape. And to get the line across, I can find the other triangle on the other end, and you hook it on. So now that we have a, a center line, we know the center. So we can add a circle in the center. C for circle, and you press, anywhere you want, where you want it, and then you just pull out with your cursor for its size. Generally, the size doesn't matter. It depends what you're doing. So you just type it in, because in Fusion, you can always change its size by typing it in. So, now that we have a circle, we could extrude this and make it a 3D shape. So, we can make it a cuboid. Whenever you want to make anything 3D, and you've pressed E, which is a shortcut key for extrude, you have to select what you want to bring up. Now, if we want the circle to be a hole in our rectangle here, we could just have this. We would select these two, and then in the bottom here, where my cursor is, we type in how high we want to bring our rectangle up and make it 3D. Now, to get a good view of it, we press orbit, which is also in the handy toolbar, and we can just grab this place around and move around it. But now you can't get back, so what do you do? In the top left corner, there's a button, which is home next to a cube, and it's not on my screen right now, and it is there though. So you press on it, and it'll usually bring you back to your original screen and what you're looking at it from. So. You can select things by also by selecting it, and there's a select button in the top. So, now we have a 3D rectangle with a hole in. If there's anything you want to do, you can even add a hole now, a circle. So, press C for circle, and then we select where we want it, size, and I'd like to make mine the same size, so 30 millimeters. Now, if we want to make it a hole as well, we have to press E for extrude, but when we tap on it, instead of pulling it out, like we would do for the last one, which we can do, we pull it in the opposite direction. You can always just type in minus 12, but it's really fun to pull it out. So now we have another hole. If you want a good orbit, here's what we've made. Hopefully yours ended up like this, and this should help you in your future projects. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Mr. Hooch. Share this video with all your friends.